Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this interesting equation 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x equal to the square root of 12 to the power of x minus 16 to the power of x. Alright let's get started. First of all I would like to square both sides. So to the left hand side we have 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x whole squared. And this is equal to the moment you square the right hand side you will be left with 12 to the power of x minus 16 to the power of x all right let me simplify the right hand side a little bit you know that 12 can be written as 3 multiplied by 4 but still raised to the power of x minus 16 can be written as 4 multiplied by 4 raised to the power of x the left hand side remain 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x whole squared and uh, using distributive property of exponent we can distribute this power of x to these two numbers the same thing to this ones so to the right hand side we have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 4 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x multiplied by 4 to the power of x let me simplify it a little bit because we have 4 to the power of x in common from two terms. So we have 4 to the power of x outside. In the bracket, we have 3 to the power of x from the first term minus 4 to the power of x from the second term. The left hand side remains the same 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x whole squared. Now I would like to take this term to the left hand side. We have 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x whole squared to the left. As this crosses over, it becomes negative 4 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x. If you observe what we have under the parentheses are exactly the same. Hence, we can factorize this. Remember to equate this to 0. So we have one of this outside. This is... 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x. In bracket, you see this one is to the power of 2, so we still have one left. That is 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x. And from this, already it is outside, we have minus 4 to the power of x left. The whole of this equal to 0. Simplify a little bit again. This is 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x will give us minus 2 of it right 2 of this 4 to the power of x the whole of this equal to 0 now that we have two factors let us set each to be equal to 0 it either 3 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x equal to 0 or 3 to the power of x minus 2 of this uh, 4 to the power of x equal to 0. From the left hand side, this equation, if you take this one to the other side, it becomes positive. We have 3 to the power of x equals 4 to the power of x. And from the other one, 3 to the power of x equals 2 of this 4 to the power of x. So from the left hand side, we can divide the two exponents by 4 to the power of x, 4 to the power of x. Uh, you know, according to one of the laws of indices, we can assign this a single exponent since they have the same exponent. This is 3 over 4, all to the power of x. But the other side, we have 1. But remember that 1 can be expressed as any number raised to the power of 0 apart from 0, right? So since we have 3 over 4 here to the power of x, we can write 1 as 3 over 4, but to the power of 0. And now since the bases are the same, we equate the exponents x equal to 0. This is one of the solutions. Then coming back here, we can divide both sides by 4 to the power of x, 4 to the power of x. According to one of the laws of indices, this is 3 over 4 to the power of x. And the other side we have only 2. We can take log on both sides to the base of 3 over 4. So log to the base of 3 over 4 of this number which is 3 over 4 to the power of x. We do the same thing 
we have log to the base of 3 over 4 of this number 2. All right? Um, according to the laws of logarithm, this will cancel this, leaving only that exponent of x because the base and the arguments are the same. Uh, you know that this power will drop down to multiply. So log of a number having the same base as the number will give us 1. So to the left-hand side, we have only x. And this is equal to log 2 to the base of 3 over 4. And this is the other solution. And this is the most exact solution, unless if you want to transform it to decimal. But I prefer to leave it like this. So we have two solutions. x could either be 0 or log of 2 base of 3 over 4. An assignment for you is to test these two solutions to the main equation to see whether they are going to satisfy or not. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.